Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Solo me today. Me, myself, Max, a few of the other lads. We had a very, very large Bucks weekend in Cairns. I'm struggling. Max is struggling. He couldn't make it today. So, um, just me today. We're just going to be going over my score quickly. My thoughts around players, how they went. Um, any trade ideas that I'm considering and um, yeah it's going to be a nice quick little roundup of the round and who surprised me and who didn't but we'll get into it obviously um, I scored a 851 the round in general was a joke most people scored anywhere between 800 to a thousand if you scored over a thousand you did really well but I think only a maybe one to two percent scored over a thousand so summed the round up very very well all the guns or most of the guns scored poorly most of the higher captains obviously scored poorly so yeah let's get into it so 851 for me um i captain hind which was amazing <laughs> his lowest score ever in super coach um, I went obviously with Robson, which I was pretty happy with, 64. He did get a try assist, so that bumped him up a little bit. But, um, I think Robson is obviously, you're paying for what you're going to get. You're going to get that f anywhere between 50 and 70 on a good day. So, paid up for it. Um, not paid up, but went with him. I should have trusted my gut with Little. But Little only scored like seven points more. So, but he was obviously a little bit cheaper. Um, little is definitely going to be on my radar though. If uh, Robson puts together a string of some bad scores, I will definitely be looking at doing a little Robson to Little. But we'll have to just see. We'll see if Little can back up, um, back up these scores week in week out. Um, Arrow, 39, pretty disappointing. He was injured in almost every single tackle and run that he made. So he was broken of glass. Um, he was made of glass. Um, and obviously with the news that's just come out, Arrow is looking in doubt for a very long time. It's not looking good for Arrow. So Arrow is going to be a forced trade this week. Um, Terrell May nailed it, 64 points. Um, possibly inflated minutes due to some injuries through the middles with Tupanua and Wong. So um, we're just going to have to wait and see what the minutes are like in the next game. He's on the bench, as um, starting on the bench as well with Warrior Hargraves back. So um, we'll see. We'll see. He might actually come out and brain it again. He could play for another 50 minutes and get you 60 points. So we'll have to wait and see. Sam Hughes off the bench for 31. He hasn't lived up to the preseason hype at all, but he will do a job, I think, in that third front row spot. Um, Liam Henry, 36, solid. Played for 30 minutes, got 36 points. Very happy with that. He will make me some money. Uh, Lukey, what a nightmare. So... That was a roller coaster. HIA, off the field, onto the field, try, late try, 63 points. Wow. Um, he obviously has showed his potential. So, Lukey will be a staple in my side if he continues to do what he does. Pia Cora obviously was a mess for people with a score of four. HIA. Tupanua, 26. Blur. Um, yeah. I am glad that Tupanua and Pia Cora's name, though. I was very, very worried that both of them weren't going to get named. And um, this week, and I was going to be in a little bit of trouble. I was going to have to move Arrow on. I was, well, I didn't want to move Pia Cora and Tupanua on, but if they weren't named... With Firmer on the bye and Lane having the Panthers, I 
would have been forced to do something about that. So, um, yeah, former 34 in a side that got absolutely polished by the Dragons. If you got Firma, um, just hold, hold strong. He will improve. Don't make any rational, um, don't make any stupid trades. Keep him in your side because he will come good. Uh, lane 41, Smithies with a 58. Absolute workhorse. If he maintains that spot there at the lock and horse comes back and rotates through the middle, Smithies will stay in my side all year. He won't go anywhere. He'll just be that nice little plotter in the on the on the bench and if he's got some tough matchups. Um, I might even play him in some tough matchups because he'll tackle his ass off and get you a good score. So, anyway, Hines with a 26. Very bad captain score. I actually had my captain on Cleary until like five minutes before before the Sharks kicked off and changed it. And, um, I mean, look, it was only an extra 10 points, 20 points if I captained him. So, yeah, look, I didn't miss out on much. Brooks, beautiful 59, what could have been set up. He could have um, set up Turbo for a try. He could have honestly got an extra 50 points. So I think Brooks is in for a big year. He outscored Dylan Brown this week. I am not dumb enough to know, um, to think that that will happen regularly. I still think Dylan Brown is the number one 5-8 uh, in the game in Supercoach. So I'm just glad that Brooks lived up to um lived up to not ex not really expectations but lived up to people's hopes that he would have a good season with manly and i think that um he started off well so very happy for brooks um two of us are 46 in a low scoring game look two of us are he's going to get attacking stats he will get good scores so doesn't faze me moses Sully with a 53 pretty happy with that to be honest with you i don't um without a try and without too many attacking stats i don't think he got many i think he might have got one line break um points will come for Sully, and i'm pretty happy to own him i did however own labor for about most of um preseason and i changed to Sully straight after i saw Sully have that big game against the tigers in the preseason but look, you can't win them all. It would have been good to have Sully and Labor, but um, yeah. So I will eventually, I'll see how Labor looks this week. If he can back up what he did on the weekend, um, he is definitely going to be coming into my side somehow. I might even move a boss stock up to, to Labor. Um, Ter um, Taylor May, 67. 67 points in a side that scored zero. <clears throat> so let that sink in 67 points in a side that scored zero he will ton up a lot this season without a doubt so Burbo with the 72 beautiful cheapies on the side 38 for Bostock with a try which is a little bit concerning actually it's quite concerning Strange 28 didn't really do too much um, Gagai with a 55 of the try. Obviously, we all know this. Turbo, 81. Ponga, 50. My thoughts around what I want to do with my side. So, obviously, I don't want to... I definitely won't be max trading this week. I definitely won't be using a boost. The only player that I want to move on is obviously Arrow. And I'm very likely going to go to Tola. There's no host on the bench for the bunnies. Duncan's come in on an edge. <clears throat> so I am very much looking to go to Tola. So if I go to Tola, that will give me an extra 30k in the bank. So and that literally puts my side together for this week. I don't need to make any trades. Luki starting, Peter Cora starting, Tupanua starting. I'm not going to play lane against the Panthers. Playing Smithies. Um, Sharks have the Bulldogs. I think the Sharks can bounce back. Not bounce back. They won on the weekend, but I think the Sharks can look a lot better. 
and I think there'll be a lot more attacking stats for Hines in this game. The smart thing will definitely be, though, I will be VCing Hines, and I will be putting the C on Turbo. Um, Turbo's got the Roosters at Four Pines Park on Sunday afternoon. So, obviously, that screams points, even though the Roosters look good. Um, VC Hines, C Turbo this weekend. Ponga is also a shout against the Cows, but the Cows looked very good on the weekend at home as well. So, yeah, I, I don't know about that. I don't know. So, yeah, VC Hines, um, C Turbo. Let's just have a quick look. I just want to have a look, obviously, with the most traded out in my side. So, Pierre Cora, Fermat, Satili. A thousand people are trading Ponga out. <coughs> I'd. Why? Why? If you're trading in Ponga, if you're starting with Ponga and you're trading him out in the first game, yeah. Good luck to you. Um. Obviously, Puricora's name, Satili's name, so please don't trade those guys out unless you've got huge money on the sideline that you want to upgrade to guns. Um, most traded in, obviously, Labor. Fatala Mariner got put on the bench. Um, 5,605 people might want to consider reverse trading that. Josh Kerr. 3,868 trades. He scored a try off the bench, and he's starting on the bench again. So I don't think I would want to jump the gun on that one at all. Flegler, everyone's obviously moving. Maybe some Arrow owners, they're going straight to Flegler. If you're doing that, try and have some depth on your bench because obviously Flegler's got a buy next week, and I would probably hold off getting Flegler until after the buy. I wouldn't rush in to get Flegler now. Also, he scored a try, which was a line break and a tackle bust. Minus like 30, like roughly 30 points off his score, and that's what he would have finished on if he didn't score that try. So, um, Take that into consideration. If he didn't score that try, he was scoring quite poorly. Um, people are trading Lusick out. I don't quite understand that. He scored 61 points, but yeah. Anyway, that is how my side went. That's how my side looks for this week. I'm making zero changes outside of going arrow to Totola. One trade, boring, but the way I look at it this season is save your trades, trust the process, unless you've got injuries, suspensions, and players just look absolutely woeful, <coughs> I would not be rage trading just yet. I sound like shit. I'm jumping off. Good luck for the rest of the week, guys. Um, I'll be posting my final team or final captain choice and stuff on the Facebook page on Thursday for round two. If anything changes or if anything pops up, I'll let you guys know. So cheers for joining in. Cheers for watching. Let me know how you all went in the comments. Uh, me and Max will both be back on next week. So he ain't going anywhere. Um, and yeah, hopefully everyone went well. Let me know how he's went in the comments. Let me know what trades you're making in the comments. And good luck for this week. Cheers, guys.